I didn't go with a lot of expectations. I just went very open-minded about the whole experience. When I first arrived, I was having a great time. We went all over the place, we went to loads of nice restaurants, hang out with all the people I was living with. It was like a weird change, but a nice change. I'm Alice. Um, I went to Elisava in Barcelona. I'm Stevie Ward and I went to Politecnico de Milano in Milan. Hi, I'm Chris. I studied at Mahalinaz University in Budapest. Hi, my name's Oli and I studied in Luzerne, Switzerland. I thought maybe I'd miss home more and I really didn't. Skype is an amazing thing, FaceTime's great. We found it quite difficult to look for a house online at first. We got kind of lucky and ended up in a really nice location. We went to Montserrat at like six in the morning on this like mountain climb. It was so nice. So there were street performances all the time. A lot of student bars, karaoke. Different musicians, different dance groups. A lot of like electronic dance music. Like 50p a On the first day, it was more like a welcome for Erasmus students. I kind of stuck with my friend from Kingston for the first week or so. You're always going to different places, different parties, going to galleries together. Once the classes had started, it was like a lot easier to get to know people better. You could choose what you wanted to do but that didn't necessarily mean that you would get the class. It's great to see how someone works. The illustration side at the university took a little bit of adjusting to at the start because it was very much a pen to paper course. And then also they're really, really skilled at drawing out of their imagination. So you have to adapt to that when you were over there, which is great, you know, I can carry that into my final year. I learned like a hell of a lot about slip casting, mould making techniques. They also do a thing called course week where designers or people from studios come do a project with you. Probably about 80% of the teachers knew English. There is options and it's not the end of the world if you can't speak the language of the country you're going to. There was no supermarket. Had to go down to the fruit market, go to somewhere else to get the meat. I was actually alright with money. I didn't have a job or anything. The best experience about it all was meeting people from all over the world. Apart from anything else, the networking and the contacts that you make, that really will lift university experience. I think a lot of the people that I did meet would be definitely up for working together in the future. The uni was fun and you do learn a lot while you're there, but I just think it's more about the experience really. So if you meet the right people, then you just have a great time. If you go into the experience with as much of an open mind as possible, you won't be disappointed. It's not all easy, but definitely one of the best years of my life. Doesn't mean that it was like a walk in the park. Losing your like main peer group of friends as well that you had been studying with is quite a weird thing. The optimistic flip of that is that I get to meet a whole load of new ones. I feel like it's so easy now to just get on a plane and go somewhere. 